in New York, this was Mayor Adams' screed on, you know, how New York is collapsing because, you know, some uh, some illegals are coming there. Here it is. Started with a madman down in Texas, decided yeah. he wanted to bust people up to New York mad City. Madman. I'm so glad. Excuse me, stop again. I'm yeah. so glad you stopped that there. Yeah. Because that one is not getting uh, uh, any attention in this, in yeah, this particular yeah. rant. Because yeah. it's like, okay, well, he doesn't like Abbott, so he says mm -hmm. he's a madman. Okay, that's, you know. Why is he a madman? Why is he a madman? He had the same observation you have. He had the same exact point you have, Eric. He's seeing not 10,000, but millions of people cross his border while he's been governor and decided out of sheer desperation to that do something Texas about it. Texas won't survive yeah. with millions coming in. Right. That's what he... That's what he... And so he... Sh let's just say, and I don't believe this, and we're going to try to get the uh, an official number from the governor, but I don't believe they're sending 10000 a month. I don't think the number's even close to that. No, I don't think so. I either. think they're coming in various different ways. A Biden uh, p uh, policy change is a big part of that, which we've discussed before. Fly right in. Uh, you can fly right into the city whenever you want, and they have to treat you uh, as if these asylum claims are serious. But forget all that. Like, he has the exact same complaint. You, they're on the same exact team here. Right. In theory, mm -hmm. except that you know, Governor Abbott doesn't have a policy that promises free housing for everyone who shows up and calls himself a sanctuary city. He doesn't call himself a sanctuary state or a sanctuary governor. So in theory, if politics is sucked out of this, he should say, wow, I ran as a person, a, a mayor to say this is a sanctuary city and everyone was welcome. I realized that policy was wrong. I was wrong on that. Governor Abbott was right. He was right to make this point. I'm glad now I know, so we can fight on the same side to stop it. Are nope. you going to suck all 36,000 seconds? Uh, Got at least 35,000 more seconds okay. on this if you want. Okay, no, I okay, no, I appreciate it. Now, one of the things that he's saying is, you know, these people don't have jobs, so he's been asking, and so has Hochul asking for a way to create jobs. You'll be happy to know. That President Joe Biden and the Department of Homeland Security has launched a nationwide workforce initiative that will funnel millions of border crossers and illegal aliens in the United States right directly to jobs. Biden's DHS announced yesterday a first of its kind national campaign to make millions of border crosses and illegal aliens who have been released into the U.S. interior aware that they're eligible for work permits to take American jobs. Now, before you say anything, let's look who he is specifically singling out. Specifically, those from Cuba, Haiti, Nicaragua, Venezuela, and Ukraine. Wants them to remember that they're eligible to apply for a work permit. <clears throat> okay. All right. So we got we got that going. Uh, he is creating good union jobs, and that is great. Okay. Listen, now he's an saying, I don't see an ending. I don't see an ending to this. This issue will destroy New York City. Destroy New York City. Racist. We're getting 10,000 migrants a month. Oh, wow. Give me your tired, weak, poor, huddled masses. One time we were just getting Venezuela. Yeah. Now we're getting Ecuador. Oh, okay. Now we're getting Russian speaking coming to, through oh, Mexico. Now, we have, now we're getting uh, Western Africa. Ooh, now we're getting Afri people from all over the globe have made their minds up that they're going to come through the southern part of the border and come into New York City. Mm -hmm. And everyone is saying it's New York City's problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Every community in this city is going to be impacted. Yeah, yeah. It's 100% your That's problem. That's weird. Now imagine how Dallas and Houston are impacted. Imagine how San Antonio and Austin have been impacted. Imagine those towns of 5,000 people by the border, how they've been impacted. And everybody just says, okay, well, we're sanctuary cities. I guess let Texas deal with it. No, no. Every sanctuary city should have busload after busload after busload. You're a sanctuary city. You wanted them. You said you'll protect them. You'll care for them. Take them.
take them. And it'll change the second you stop it. It will. Yeah, just change the policy. Change, you have a right to shelter law. Change that. How You can't be taken seriously if you haven't changed that law yet. Say you're not a sanctuary city and we'll send it to the next one. Oh, and by the way, maybe you should speak out or call the president. 